Uh, Wolfie, you're on the air in Philadelphia. Hey, how's it going, Howard? Hey. Hey, uh, last week, real briefly, you mentioned that uh, Gary's breath had a little bit of stink to it. And for a while, you hadn't mentioned that at all. And I wondered if he had... Well, I don't really get that close to Gary, but we have a meeting on Tuesdays now. We switched it from Thursday <laughs> to Tuesday. And uh, I sit next to the on the couch to Gary. And like, like three meetings, no, two meetings ago... <laughs> He was talking, and I smelled stink, like bad, bad stink, like, like, just like, like shit. Oh, and I was oh like, like shit. Yeah, oh, and I was Robert. like, I said, but I wasn't sure if it was Will or Jason, because everyone's kind of sits near me. But then I noticed that I just kept quiet, and then I realized every time Gary talked, I got a whiff, and Gary ain't that close to me on the couch. So I started turning my head <laughs> to see if I could escape it, and I kind of did, mm-hmm. and then I forgot about it, and then the last meeting. It was the same distinct smell. Oh. God. And I was like, whoa. And I kept turning my head. Gary, you got to do the mouthwash thing before the meeting. I'm sorry. I don't mean to embarrass I don't know that you. I'm guilty. I swear, I swear it's you. you. Know, you're just, you're, this is uh, circumstantial evidence of bad I know, but it was only you other talking. people who are known to have bad breath that are sitting in your vicinity. I got to be honest with you, Gary. I'm not saying it to hurt you. Who else is known to have bad breath? I'm not going to embarrass anybody. Well, well I mean, I, Will wasn't talking and Jason wasn't talking. They're the two closest guys. It was only you. Every yeah, time it doesn't mean you have to talk to, for you to be able right. to smell somebody's breath. All right. It's very, it's very I, uh, listen, if I come in right now and I, you know. No, I don't want that. I I'll throw up. That, I think that you're, you're, you're just pointing an accusatory finger without a lot of proof. It's okay. Like a lot of people. This was the foulest odor I'd have ever seen. In fact, it was even fouler. It was foul odor. It, it may not have been me. It was fouler even than Gary's usual foul breath. Wow. You know I don't have usual foul Do breath. Do you still smoke? Of course not. You don't? No. Oh. Uh, seriously? Or, 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 no, seriously. Oh, maybe you need to. I haven't seen him have a cigarette <laughs> in a long time. Maybe I don't know. I'm maybe trying to figure out. you need to. You're advising him to I know, smoke. I know that it was Gary, but I, I, I understand he's embarrassed. You don't know that. That's the whole point. Yeah, it was you. You have a feeling. It is, was is you, Gary. Is there any chance it was uh, J.D.? Because I heard no, J.D. Out. sits far away from me. What about Richard not brushing his teeth? He's See, Richard's, si- Richard's like all the way on the other side of the room. He's not even near me. Maybe. Richard has to have bad breath going If it on. wasn't Gary, it either had to be Will, who wasn't even that close to me because he had a cold and I made him leave the room. Uh-huh. And then Jason, Jason was sort of close to me, but it was every time Gary spoke. <laughs> well, I mean, so why would I blame Jason? <laughs> But no, see, that's no, already, that's, that, every time I spoke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. I got 99% proof. So it wasn't stale mouth, it was shit mouth? Yeah. It was the worst thing I ever smelled in my life. Up oh, there he is brushing his teeth. With <laughs> just saying, hey, everybody gets a little... Oh, no, he's brushing his teeth with crap, is what, oh, is that what Sal is doing. Yeah, he's taking it out of the toilet and brushing it. <laughs> so Sal's putting... What is Sal doing? All right, thank you. You would you would think with the size of his teeth, the plaque in between would be like the size of chickens. It's got to be a lot of stuff. Right. He has very big white teeth. And he's right. Probably plaque. The plaque is the size of a chicken. <laughs> and it, it probably is a problem. Can you get him, I don't know, some mouthwash or gum, something before the meeting? Well, you know what it is? Honestly, his mouth gets very dry from his uh, fake teeth. <laughs> and then he licks. And I think the licking behavior <laughs> causes the breath. I the don't licking know. Be- The licking behavior? Yeah. How, how do you get a work done when he's licking like that? It's so distracting on TV. I, I, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything yes, else. Yes, I know. It's, 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 uh, no one can concentrate, douchebag. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Go back to whatever it is you fucking do. Don't get mad at me. I'm trying to help you. You're nobody. You're a nobody. You're a fucking nobody. I didn't claim to be anybody, but I don't lick he's my wolf. teeth. And I don't have bad breath. Oh, this is Wolf? Yeah. Oh, he's a regular caller, nobody. Oh, come on, Gary. I'm trying to help you out. You yes, you, you know what? You're a big help. Now go fuck yourself and die. Oh. <laughs> Gary, I don't even know that it was your breath. I'm just assuming it no, was. No, you fuck, you fuck you too. You're another one. I don't know it was your breath. Let me tell the whole world you have stinky breath, and then I'll reel it. I'm like, oh, I'm not positive it was Gary. I'm, I'm not. not. Sure. I can't give you 100% sure, uh, clarity on this, but I know but, I had to turn. When I turned my head away from you, it, it smelled better. You basically told everyone it is, even though you're just going to say I'm It is positive. you. It, it's got to be. See? <laughs> yeah, do you use a tongue scraper? That yeah, no, no, Wolf, go fuck yourself. And DePace, why don't you cut this Sal in the toilet again, brushing his teeth? I think Sal's done with that. What are you hostile about this, Howard? You know what? If oh, I had breath. for being hostile. Why would you be, Wolf? Let me come well, Why don't you come in here and why don't we point out any and all of your flaws? 
I mean, that would be fine. I, I know that I have flaws, but... What are your flaws, Wolf? If someone's giving me constructive criticism, I at least listen. You just fly off the handle. You know what's weird? Gary has an entire dental drawer in the office bathroom with a water pick and everything. Uh-huh. He does? Yeah. I didn't know that. He has a dental drawer. It's like having a toolkit, and he doesn't use it. I don't understand. No, I think he uses it. I think he puts a lot of time in. That's what's disturbing. No, I don't have... All I have in there is a mouthwash and toothbrush. I had a water pick, but I don't have it in there anymore. Well, you brought in a water pick to work? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was finding it hard to find time at home, so I thought I'd do it before I left. You can't water pick at home? I forget. And Mary gives him a lot of chores. She just... You're such a dick. You have enough time to so many chores he can't water pick? Mary, please, give me five minutes to water pick before I bathe the boys. <laughs> I hope he's not still bathing those boys. They're pretty big. I don't get a minute to water pick. <laughs> if he broke his, his mouth out into sections and just did a section at a time. Oh, uh, you <laughs> think he needs a grid? Those are called quadrants, <laughs> not grids. You're saying break the teeth into quadrants. Yeah, like bottom left, bottom right. So do bottom left, let's say, early in the morning, bottom right here. I see. But then bottom left will get dirty in the meantime again. Right. That's a big bottom left. <laughs> His water pick was like the size of a fire hose. <laughs> no, no. Come on, Robin, don't laugh at that. Stop it. There's got to be a mouth. Oh, here comes the fog, the Fulton Bull. <laughs> Time for water pick. pick. <laughs> Spray that. Five men hold you ever see the, the uh, videos of oh. black people in the South getting sprayed by a hose right. by yeah, those, white by white devils? Those are funny. Yeah. But do you know every time they take out the hose, you got to have like five <laughs> firemen holding the hose. White How many? <laughs> How many people have to hold? Oh, that's Mary's right. There's pick. always eight firemen. <laughs> You see Jason and Will behind with the hose of the water. We're having a meeting today. I'm thinking of wearing a gas mask. <laughs> Imagine I walked in. I was thinking maybe while we do the meeting, I could just sit in here and do it over this little microphone. Oh, okay. And we'll see if the stench is still there. Yeah, let me test that today. Gary's being nice and not saying who else is known for bad breath. I, 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 you fucking know who. Don't. don't. I, you know what? I know one person, and well, it, is, gotta, it got, is embarrassing to say. He's got to be like saying Jason saying because Jason was the only other guy near me. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's definitely not Jason. It was Jason and Will. I, I, listen, I don't know I don't know any way Richard couldn't have bad breath. If he but doesn't, he's, so he's got the best genes. Like, you he, know. In, in defense of Richard, he's so far away from me, I wouldn't even be able to smell him. I wouldn't let him near maybe me. Maybe you are smelling him from there. Well, maybe. <laughs> but it was every time Gary was like, both, and then, what do you think of Cindy Lauper as a guest? <laughs> and then I go, whoa. <laughs> maybe Cindy Lauper stinks so bad as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was trying to send me a subtle message. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gary, why, why don't you just say who it is? Wolf, why don't you go fuck yourself? Come on, I'll try to help you. Just explain. Well, it's gotta be you know Gary, who do you think has bad breath? I'm not going to say. It's, a, it's humiliating to the person. I will take your shit, but I'm not going to give it to someone else. Mom, who's a John Hine? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, it's not John Hine. It would be great if it was. <laughs> I have friends who have really bad breath, and I always wonder why their wives don't say something, because their wives, maybe they're immune to the smell. Yeah, I think sometimes it's a chemistry thing. Mm. And the wives, because the wives like Mary it. doesn't ever complain about Gary's breath. No, that can't be That's, true. And you know what? Not only does Mary not complain about my breath, no one I've ever dated has ever complained about my breath. Really? Because uh, when, you're, when, you get to, when you get to know a girl well enough, there's been times when a girl has told me, like, in the morning or something... You know, you like, gotta... like, listen, once or twice, maybe, you know, so, so, so she'll say something, but it's not a habitual thing. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That is, just funny. That is not flattering. <laughs> oh, she just said a close-up on Gary. Wow. Gary's upset. All right, Where'd maybe, that camera come from? What Gary, I don't even know that it was you, but just a little mouthwash you know before I, the meeting. Just fucking don't even. I don't want to embarrass even. Just, just finish your conversation. Don't reel it in. All right. You've already laid it out there, so it's fine. Does he get worse throughout the day, Howard? Or yes. Like first thing in the morning? I think that's what happens. Richard, smell Gary's breath right now and tell me if it's bad. Honestly, be honest about it, though. Who, yeah, who are Richard's you asking? The one, Richard's Richard. the one that's going to be. Well, Richard's right there. Go ahead. I'll smell. Be honest, I swear. All right, go ahead. They'll Blow smell on. each other's breath. 
<laughs> Are you serious? Richard used to sleep with chickens. Oh, Richard, seriously? God. I was just kidding. It was it was bad, but not that bad. <laughs> How bad is it? Seriously. On a scale it, of 1 to 10, 10 being like pure. It's musty. It's like an old closet kind of. Howard, why, why don't you just do a, an impromptu lineup? Bring in everybody from that back office. Have a uh, person that, that we consider honest. Maybe like all I know is in the meeting there was something wafting in the air, and I don't know. I blamed it on Gary, but it, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, sometimes that happens where you know, like you just attribute a smell to somebody. It may not have. Well, you know, it could have been somebody sitting behind us. Could have been, but there's a wall behind us. Oh, and a wall stops that. The it's not a fucking wall that that isn't open. Well, I mean, the, the closest person is about ten feet. No, it's not at all. Look with the, where the couch is. And look where Fred sits. It's about ten feet. Howard, Howard, would you want me to fucking embarrass you right now and come and tell you that that's not even four feet? I bet you it's ten feet. I bet you you're wrong. What? What's Measuring. ten feet? From where I sit on the couch back to Fred's chair. About four feet. More. Is it? Yeah, absolutely mm. more. You think it's four feet from my, from where my head is all the way to the back. It's probably minimal eight feet. Uh, what are you talking about? All the way to the wall? Oh, where Fred you. is sitting. Oh. Look, Fred. I <laughs> sit over there. Fred, hold that to tape measure. Here we go. <laughs> this is where Howard sits. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. And, and put it where my head is, not, not with the back of the couch. Because well, your head would be, like, right What's there. Wrong? How many feet, Gar? What's 88 inches? Ten feet. Well, seven. No, it is. Seventy-two. Is seven six feet. feet. Yeah, seven feet. Seven, seven feet. feet. Six and a half. Six and by the way, you see where you're holding it? That's not where I sit. That's not where my head is. I sit right at the edge there. Right here. Because I'm, I'm craning my neck to get away from you. That's even closer. Uh, no. Oh, sorry, Gary. Seven feet. Who's a little, I was a little more right on than you. And I usually sit a little further back here. So yeah, exactly. I'm like more like eight feet. It's probably eight to nine feet. Oh, it's a 88, 88 inches is seven feet, four and inches. anybody over there, how close are they no, over no, there? No, no, I'm talking about what about... No, what that's, about? I turn my head in that direction to get away from the smell. So it's no one over on that side. It's come where, somewhere from where you're sitting. Eh, whatever. Howard, this is like the Kennedy assassination. Is there a grassy knoll in this? <laughs> you'll never know because you'll never see it, douchebag. There was additional was, bad breath coming from a grassy knoll. <laughs> I don't know that it was you. Honestly, I'm not trying to appease you. Know you know what? Just shut up already because you know what? It's you're, you're being a jerk. Somebody had bad breath, and it was either you or Jason. Wow. Why does it have to be me or Jason? Why, it could have come from anywhere. We're in a, we're in a room of bad 50, breath can we're in a room travel of 50, that far? Yes, we're in a room of 50 fucking people. All right. Maybe fair enough. The, all the bad breaths commingled, and I mean, that's why. But why would it only come when you're talking? I, I don't know. That's what you have in your fucking nutty brain. That doesn't mean. No, you're fact, talking, and I smell bad breath. Well, then I must have bad breath. That's what that I'm saying. Be, that was the conclusion I drew. His mouth is such an empty cavity. He could probably push stink across the room, even if it's someone else's breath. Although Benji sits pretty close to me. Could be Benji. Could be. And there's people that sit behind you over there. But, oh, that's where you turn to get the good air. Yeah. I've forgotten. Sorry. Yeah. No, I've eliminated that side of the room. It could be Benji, because we, we established Benji doesn't stink, but his clothes sometimes might. Yeah. Well, it could be his clothes I'm smelling. How do you know someone doesn't have dog shit on their, uh, dog shit on their foot? Two weeks in a row? I don't know. L unlikely. There's it no was the way. Same okay, so how smell two weeks how many, in a row. Are you dieting? No. I mean, yeah, but nothing. Yeah, because no, his breath gets no, real no, bad. No, no, it's, it's nothing. I've just stopped eating a lot of crap. It's nothing of, you know, it's, I'm not eating weird stuff. Yeah, but, but you, let me well, you, your how stomach many, juices. How long have we been sitting on this couch together <laughs> doing this meeting? Um, here. Two years. Two and a half years. Yeah. So now for two weeks, you've decided yes. that I now have shit breath. No, for two weeks running now. Have you, you've been, have you had an issue before that? No. Okay, just checking. No, I'm telling you that it's only been for two weeks. So it could Have be you a temporary done something thing. different in the last two weeks? No. All right. I don't know, man. I'm just telling you, what, the last two weeks I've had a bad experience. <laughs> yeah, me too. At the meeting. I'm having a bad experience. <laughs> All right. Gary, have you ever officially been diagnosed with halitosis? <laughs> no, because I don't have it, douchebag. It was oh, only okay. for two weeks. I'm just asking. But why would you ask that question? Based you, on what? Are you trying to say it's Dan the Song Parody Man? Because he just came back into the meeting, as I know. Well, oh. he's new to the meeting. He's yet. pretty far away. Although, yet, last week, he did creep up a little close. I told you. You know, you know the story about that, right, Howard? We put a, a, a line on the floor. Because what happens is uh, we notice that as the meeting goes on, Dan creeps up about seven or eight feet. 
Yeah, you know, I noticed, like, yeah. I, you can't avoid Dan. He starts Dan. out far away, and then next thing you know, he's touching your knees. Yeah, and he just came back into the meeting, and you, for some reason, I'm completely <laughs> obsessed on him. Like, so, he's, he's, so he's, are we. He's, like, right there. Right. No, we are. So what happened was he would get in the back because <laughs> he tried to get in here early and get a seat that was closer to you. Yeah. But, you know, we have sort of set seats, so we everyone said, hey, you got to get out of that seat. So we pushed him back, and we noticed that as the meeting went on, he would move his chair up, right. so we started putting tape on the floor to see how far he'd go. And how far did he go? He goes like seven or eight feet some meetings. Eight feet? Yeah, like he'll start to move up and inch up and inch up. Wow. It's, it's an inside joke at the meetings. <laughs> did he, did Do you he, think did he's you measure, aware of it? Did you measure now him last week? <laughs> no, we didn't measure last week. I mean, is he aware that he's, I mean, he's aware that he's inching up, but yeah. he's definitely not aware that we're watching. Okay. He's got to lose that ponytail. Motherfucker I know. has a he's ponytail. Not letting it go. Now, he's got to look that he, horrible. you know, it's weird. I always thought maybe he could clean himself up, but if you remember when we had the beauty contest where a bunch of guys got in drag, <laughs> he shaved his goatee and he really looks odd. Yeah, like maybe he's, he's got a right look for him. It's the same know. reason Sal, I guess, has a goatee because he's got like no chin at all. Oh. I think that's the why he has it. And I'm a little afraid of Dan this song, Party Man, because every time he gives me a gift, it's, <laughs> it's a, a big, knife. it's like a, a giant like killing knife. Yeah, he's a bike. He's a biker. Is he? Yeah, he's a, you know he's a biker. Really but like a, a biker, real biker, like he owns a motorcycle, or is he like part of a gang? I don't. He's not in a gang, but. Uh, I I, he has a bike, and I he guess... He looks like he, he can fight, maybe. He, he goes to those biker rallies and shit. You know, he's at those things. I oh, really? Think, yeah, I think And he's so. got some knives. What's he doing with those knives? Like, I have those. I actually use them. For what? what? Do you use opening, them for? opening packages. I mean, I have them in my desk, and you know what? The son of a bitch was right. I use them all the time. Really? Yeah, all the time. It's like so. Like for whatever the letter opener you gave me doesn't work on. Uh huh. Because that's really for letters. You don't right. want to bend something that right. nice. So everything else, I take big this packages big and... stiletto. It's one of those knives where you hit a button and it comes shooting out. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like before I open You're it, like a jet. Before I open it, I'm like, everybody stand back. Howard's gonna have his way tonight. <laughs> Anyway, Gary, I don't know if it's your brush. <laughs> Gary, I love you. I do. I do love Gary. Gary, get that cleaned up. You're in a professional work environment. Yeah. Just, you know, a little mouthwash, that's all. Use that water pick. A little common courtesy, that's all it takes. Quadrants. Thank you. This is a professional work environment. We just measured to see how far breath goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real professional. Yeah, we got the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. <laughs> 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 So Howard still thinks your uh, breath stings, and after all these years, it still it still really gets to you. I no, mean, I, just, I figure it, after it, like twenty some odd years, you, it's, you're it's, immune it's to it. It's wrong to be accused of something when it's wrong. So you're standing by it that it's definitely not your breath, and it's, it's, definitely, it's, it's breath. definitely someone else. Yes. And you know who it is? No, I just know somebody else who has bad breath. I don't know that it's that person. And um, you were saying you have your own little draw here in the bathroom. You, uh, you do your water picking at work? No, I don't do it. The truth of the matter is I lost the key to the drawer. So you can't show us? I, I don't think I can. It's funny, I tried to, let me see if this, I don't think this, maybe this will do it. Let's see. Right. This, might, this might be it. Okay, let Paula talk. Nico, Nico, you go on for a second. I know you built up all this research. You see, I always throw up in there and bring the meat. Research, research. I get to go up. Let me explain that Nico and Paula Gloria has been living together for the last three months. That's why he wants wants to gas people. That's why Nico really wants to gas people. He's frustrated. Seven years of abuse. Alan Stein is Paula Gloria's former lover. I have to fucking ride to speak up. Nico, you're looking more like Hitler every second. So you can't say your breast milk today. Well, of course I can. What did you do in the bathroom? Nothing, why? Were you in the bathroom? Were you fucking around in the bathroom? No. What do you mean, no? This morning I was with the yeah. syrup, but I cleaned it all up. No, you didn't. Get in here. What are you talking about? I cleaned What am I talking about? I cleaned up every drop. Yeah, okay. You see how you cleaned up every drop? When Robin goes to take a shit, you see how you cleaned up every drop? You should be fucking screaming. Fucking bring the box. Clean up every drop. Oh, I didn't see that. That might be real shit. Well, I'm not cleaning it. What's with the fucking box? Fuck anything. Box. Fuck anything. She should just be like, now like, being a 
hooker or something. Like, she should have to fight when Robin for a gets in here. Give me a break. The past three years have been rocky, right? I mean, we got yeah. a bit of divorce, split with a former, with you split with your former friend, have a lot. We don't get into all this. I'm why, sure why, you know, why do it, though? Um, okay. Just a tidy bull man. You want to hop in there now and fucking vote in a pound? No. Most of it not true. And um, to the right size. She says really why she's doing this. What's your respect to so much more? She said she's not even mother. My career is in my career is just shit, and I've got nothing going on. And if she said that, she's trying to get it. Put a shirt on. I have a shirt on. No, you don't. Dirty shirt, too. Fucking filthy. Look at the back. Turn around. It's filthy. Turn on a shirt. Let's box. Fucking asshole.